event for this evening. The most common question I get from people is, uh, Jonas, why does the Royal Philatelic Society London celebrate its anniversary in Sweden? And there is one simple answer to that. It is not the sole celebration. As Chris said, the celebration takes place all over the world for the next 18 months. But the international celebration takes place in Sweden. The international celebration means that where we want to gather all the members from all over the world. So I realized a year ago, I need something to depict that the royal is on its way to Sweden for the celebration of its 150th birthday. One year ago, I had a talk with Wayne Donaldson from Australia. Wayne is sitting here, and he is the leading expert on mail exchange between Great Britain and Sweden, and vice versa. And he wrote a very... in Australia. And lives in Australia. And he wrote an important article for the latest handout before the one you get today. You got today. He wrote an article in handout number three about mail exchange between Great Britain and Sweden. And in that article, he defines the first, one of the first ships contracted for taking mail from GB to Sweden, Scandinavia. So I realized Scandinavia will be an important illustration to depict that the most important society for philately in the world is on its way to Sweden. And who could take that forward? Yes, Martin Mörk. Martin Mörk, please come forward. Okay. Martin is uh, well known to all of you as uh, one of the most uh, active and famous stamp engravers in the world, with more than 800 designs and uh, stamps. So Martin, please tell us what you did with the ID we gave, I gave you. Well, uh, do I need this or is, is it okay like this? Yes. yes, yes. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. First of all, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very happy to be here tonight uh, because I think this is, first of all, a gathering of friends sharing the same fascination and feelings for stamps. Please use the mic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, so then I have to read that like this because uh, I cannot do two things at the same time, <laughs> only one. So, uh, and I. We are all here because of this, and, uh, hello Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> and we are doing this from different angles. I mean, some of us is collecting stamps. Some of us is uh, selling stamps. Some of us is writing about stamps. And I make stamps. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, stamps is first of all a combination of storytelling and art. And I, I actually often wake up in the morning and I have a really good idea for a new stamp. And I know exactly which country I should present this for. And this is what is, is driving me. Uh, but today we are actually facing uh, a downhill trend regarding collecting. We do this, uh, this worldwide. And the use of engraved stamps is also seeing this global reduction. But I think if we just do it together, we can, we can change the direction of this trend because there is a global interest for this form of art out there. Because I, I meet so many collectors uh, in different countries, especially in China where I live now half year, and there are they are want they want engraved stamps. Yeah. And they want beautiful stamps. So uh, enough talk about that. I met Jonas in Denmark one year ago, and we uh, discussed Stockholm, two thousand nineteen. He he asked me if I could do a special design for Stockholm, which as I of course was thought it was. A tremendous idea that I love to do, and uh, so my task was to starting with thinking about links, and of course, as, as Jonas said, he also did that. 
but uh, I had to start on my own. And uh, Royal Philatelic Society of London, 150 years. Stamps are about the same age. Sweden, England, Hull, Gothenburg, where I was born. This is the story. And sailing mail, which I have collected since I started collecting stamps, is that uh, I collect Norwegian uh, ship cancellations. So this is sort of my my interest. I start to think about postal, postal uh, sailing post, postal ships. So we, I, I talked to Jonas about this, and I asked him first because I wanted to see what is there of maritime fray, lustrous frameworks on old stamps. Because I, I wanted to create a, a fantasy stamp that looks like an old, 150 years old stamp. And he said, oh, my favorite stamp is a Jamaican stamp. So he sent it to me. And this was a very good start. Start like in, in, in the creative process because I had the framework that I wanted. And I was in contact with many collectors and museums after that and managed to circle the possible ships. There are several. And uh, when Donald's article put me in the right direction. It was, but it was very hard to find pictures of these ships. I was in contact with Norwegian emigrant groups on internet, and I was searching the museums in Sweden and Norway, and, and there was actually, there were no pictures of one of those single three first ships, until I, stumble over the Maritime Museum of Trondheim in Norway. <laughs> My passport is Norwegian, so I was home. Yeah. There I find, they, they, they had a painting of a ship named Steamship Tasso, which actually was built and born as Steamship Scandinavian. And this was uh, one of the first ship who carried post from Hull to Gothenburg. I was home again. So I used this painting together with the framework from the Jamaican stamp, which I changed a bit by inserting Royal Philatelic Society London, 150 years, and a banner with Stockholm 2019. So I had the framework there. And then I put Scandinavian inside the frame. I did this engraving drawing and I wanted to print it in two colors just to keep the sort of the vibe of the of the time that 150 years ago. And I also included some misfit, misfit between the image and the margin, just to keep the time standard and also a misfit between the black and blue. So actually, the bow head of the ship is pointing uh, into the framework, which it should not do, but I think 90% of the stamp printed in 150 years ago would have had. So I did that. <laughs> this is storytelling. So um, today, well, here we're having a good dinner, and uh, I have it here. It's not in my hand, but I have it here. Uh, the original drawing, which I hope actually we find a very good place in Royal Philatelic Society London's new headquarters at 15 Aperture's Lane, London. So I will now ask Chris King, past president of Royal Philatelic London, to, uh, to come up here and receive this early birthday gift from me.
Jag kommer att hänga i huset. Ja, of course. Well, first I should say thank you very much. We have to find a place, I think, in the main members' room. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, we hear you. No, no. I want Kuna to hear me. <laughs> this will find the place in our meeting room at 10 at Church Lane. 10? Not 10? Not 15. No. Okay. Why? And the. <laughs> Turn out Church Lane. And the amazing thing about Ab Church Lane is on one corner of the street, on Lombard Street, after the Great Fire of London in the 1680s, they rebuilt the London General Post Office, the Penny Post Office, the Tuppany Post Office, and the Ship Letter Post Office, which stayed there until the 19th century. Also, a printer of bicolored stamps uh, for the first Brunei stamps was on another corner of Ab Church Lane. And Perkins Bacon, who printed the penny black in 1840, after it went bankrupt in 1935, was resurrected as a company with an office address also in Ab Church Lane, <laughs> London. And this Wonderful, engraved. So it's a good home. It's a fantastic yes. home. The one thing that you have failed to do is to produce one sheet of inverted ships. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really very keen to see one sheet of inverted ships which we can sell at some event uh, for the... I'm sorry, it's that money thing again. <laughs> One sheet that we can sell, so you need to make the inverted error. Uh, but no. this is absolutely wonderful. Are you 100 percent sure? Is there nothing out there? I am. Not... <laughs> You're speechless, huh? <laughs> no, no, we need to make. Hey. <laughs> so, absolutely as long as I'm always invited. <laughs> you are always invited. <laughs> 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 A wonderful, and uh, thank you so much, a wonderful day. We put it here. Thank you. 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 Thank